If you believe you have any information pertaining to this case, you are urged to contact Crime Stoppers by telephone at 1800 222 8477 or online at canadiancrimestoppers.org forward slash tips. Alternatively, you could email the National Centre for Missing Persons and Unidentified Remains at Canada's Missing Disparu Canada at rcmp grc.gc.ca. At either 3.30am or p.m., sources differ when it comes to the exact time, on the 9th of May 2003, a man checked into the Northbrook Inn in Grand Rapids, Manitoba, Canada, using the name Dong Cheron and paying in cash. He was given room 7. At 6pm, the cleaning staff entered his room to find him slumped in his chair, lifeless with a ligature around his neck. His death was ruled a suicide by hanging. The authorities quickly deduced that Dong Chalon was an alias, and 17 years later, his true identity has not yet been discovered. The deceased man was a 30 to 50 year old male of Asian, perhaps Korean or Chinese descent. He stood at about 5 feet 7 inches or 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighed around 175 pounds, and had short black hair, brown eyes, good teeth, a fair complexion, a 1 cm long scar on his left index finger, and a 4 cm long scar on his left forearm. There is a post-mortem photograph available. This may disturb some, but is being shown for identification purposes only. If you are sensitive to seeing images of deceased people, you may want to look away now. The post-mortem image has now been replaced. He was found clad in a size large cotton Izod golf shirt that was green in colour, a size large khaki or green coloured St John's Bay synthetic spring jacket, Beige cotton docker pants, a brown leather belt, and a pair of brown leather shoes. According to the Doe Network, he also wore jewellery, though I have not been able to locate a description of this jewellery. In his possession was a bus ticket from either Thompson, according to the Doe Network, or Winnipeg, according to the RCMP's website. The ticket stub, also found with the decedent, identified Dung, that's D-U-N-G, as opposed to D-E-O-U-N-G, as the individual had purchased the tickets. Also in the decedent's possession was a small black bag containing herbal medicine. After translation from Korean, it was found that the medicine was prescribed to one Park Sengde or Park Sangde. This proved to be another alias. An official from the South Korean Embassy in Ottawa travelled to Winnipeg to run the decedent's fingerprints through South Korean databases and no matches were found. This implies that he may not have been Korean, or if he was, he must not have been born in South Korea, or he must have left the country as a child, as South Korean citizens are fingerprinted at the age of 18. Matt Proprost, writing for the Winnipeg Free Press, stated, quote, The name he used to check into the motel has been cross-referenced to practically every missing persons list in North America and in Asian countries. They've even run variations of another name on the medical bag found in a room. No luck. Fingerprints have been run through databases with no matches, which implies he's never done anything criminal." Unquote. It's been reported that the police don't believe the man was from Manitoba. In spite of a thorough investigation, the man using the aliases Dong Cheron and Sang De Park has managed to evade identification for over a decade, and it's likely that those who knew him in life have no knowledge of his passing. If you believe you have any information that may aid in the identification of this individual, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers on 1 800 222 8477 or submit a tip to them online at canadiancrimestoppers.org forward slash tips. Alternatively, you could email the National Centre for Missing Persons and Unidentified Remains at Canada's Missing Disparu Canada at rcmp grc.gc.ca. Thank you very much for giving Dong Cheron's case a moment of your day.